I'm a gadget freak myself. Look forward to identifying a lot of gurus on the gadget. Smart watches, smartphones, and all those stuff definitely is. I love gadgets. Somewhere our life kind of revolves around cool gadgets these days. All breaths baited. Let's see what the outcome is. Hey everyone. Wow, you may think evening. you've seen it all, but you ain't seen nothing yet. That's because you are now right in the middle of the NDTV Gadget Guru Awards 2015. We are coming to you today from the High Tech Exhibition Center here in Hyderabad, which is being host to India's Gadget Expo 2015, the country's biggest technology exposition, supported, of course, by the government of Telangana. With tech innovators, manufacturers, entrepreneurs, retailers, tech savvy consumers all coming under this one roof, I'm hoping. It's a fairly high roof that we yeah, have. But, you know, especially because uh, it certainly seems high enough with that drone flying around there, um, which we should talk about at some point, but I guess people don't want to hear us droning on and on and on. Okay, now we've got as many as 19 awards to hand out today, covering the whole gamut from gaming to communications to household tech and so on and so forth. Now, before we actually get started, Rajiv, there's, there's something I've been really meaning to ask you. Sure, sure, ask me. I'm, 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 I'm an open It's an important book. question. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally good for it. Meru Telugu Maat Laru Thara? Huh? What? Meru Telugu Maat Laru Thara. Okay, yeah, sure, I mean, what, what, uh, what, what? You haven't figured that out? Guy, can somebody translate for him? I'm asking you simply, do you speak Telugu? Okay, so, so, so if, if only you told me that, I would have said Avanu Kodiga. What? I mean, that means, if I got it right, just a little. Yeah, very little, a tiny, teeny, microscopic bit, but yes, <laughs> all right, but it's an amazing audience we have out here, Rajiv, and all sorts of people we're going to be introducing, talking to all through this evening. But before we continue, a very special guest in our midst, whom we do want to call uh, onto the stage, our special guest of honor. So do put your hands together in welcoming him, uh, Mr. K.T. Ramarao, the Honorable Cabinet Minister for Information Technology, Panchayati Raj, one of the people whose brainchild all of this really is. So let me, let me, let me call him on the stage. Welcome. No problem. So the most important question to start off with, whose Telugu is better? <laughs> Were you speaking in Telugu? <laughs> of you? Okay. What are they speaking in? <laughs> I think it was Greek and this was Latin. So, you know, lots and lots of things to talk to you about, but we'd like you to take a minute or so to tell us about Gadget Guru Awards coming to Hyderabad and, you know, how we got into this and what does this really mean? Because technology seems to be a favorite for you. So what does this mean, IGE and the NDTV Gadget Guru Awards here? Well, firstly, we are kicked about the fact that India Gadget Expo for the second year in a row has chosen Hyderabad as its destination. We're extremely thankful to NDTV, thankful to the organizers here for making this happen second year in succession. So thank you guys. And most importantly, the Gadget Expo is bigger and better than last year, primarily because Gadget Guru Awards has also been, uh, is also being hosted here. So we're very, very pleased, very, very happy to host you guys. Hyderabad, besides being the technology hub in India, one of the top-notch destinations for information technology, it also is now aspiring as part of the Make in India campaign to also, you know, be a hotbed for manufacturing as well. So I hope and I, I, I really thank you guys, you know, for putting us, um, uh, you know, in front of the whole entire country. And I'm hoping that a lot of these winners who've, uh, you know, won a lot of awards today would also choose Hyderabad as their manufacturing destination. And um, this show, India Gadget Expo, I'm very, very confident that it will actually be rated along with, say, a Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, 
or a CES in uh, Las Vegas in days to come. So great, great job, you guys. Great to be the stepping stone so, forward. No, but thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great having you with us. Thank you so much. Okay, Vikram and everybody else. I'm ready to get started now with what is easily my favorite part of any award show. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, because at the end of the day, if these are the most credible tech awards in the country, it's because of the jury. This year, there's a lot of changes, some dramatic new products that have come in there. So it's a far more exciting awards than I think the last one was. It's actually a clash of different personalities, more personalities than gadgets. The jury meet is usually very long. Uh, there's lots of gadgets to play around with and it can get to be quite a heated session. Can we play the same one here now? Yeah. Yeah, let's just do this, same clip. No, this couldn't be for this, it's not okay. It's really slow. I think yeah. we've gone through a very extensive process uh, for the Gadget Guru Awards and uh, uh, even, even more so than previous years because there's been a lot of prior work. The usual Tweedledum and Tweedledee battles between Rajiv and Vikram are always interesting. And I mean, till today, I've never heard the cloud for Pandai. Yeah. It's just a USB, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, going into the jury meet, I was uh, quite curious to see how it's going to work since this is my first time there. It's not, it's not a 4K. This is not a 1920. Uh, in this jury meet, I expected to uh, get to know a lot, lot of gadgets a, a bit better and uh, help decide what I may want to buy myself too. That then is how our jury meet actually comes about and then that was the, also our fabulous jury. Let's just introduce you to some of the people that were on the jury. Prasanto Kumar Roy, Anmol Taneja, Nishan Padyar, Kishore Bhargav, Ashish Bhatia and then of course there's Gopal Sate. And then of course there's that man. Oh Rajiv, I'm flattered, I'm flattered and of course there is that man too. That, but you that know, this man. is getting embarrassing. So we want to say nice things about each other. But how do we say that? I mean, tough for us to actually do. Well, that's what Hello? I'm here for. Good Whoa. evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I that, uh, hope yeah. these two uh, extremely handsome men have uh, kept you humored. Uh, but as for the rest of the evening, I'll take over. Don't worry. Hey, that, my, that looks like Neha Dhupia. Yeah, it's not Nirupa Roy for sure, Vikram, in case you're thinking. This is... All Neha of Dupia. Neha Dupia wow. with us today. Hi. Great to have you here, Neha. Good to see you. Good okay. to see you too. But uh, I, of course, am here uh, to do my job. That is introduce uh, uh, the last two jury members. And um, first, there's uh, one of the most well-known names in Indian journalism. A man synonymous with television um, in the entire country and beyond. Someone whose mere presence commands respect, an institution in himself, a mentor of the entire industry, Pranoy Roy. Neha, I'm not Pranoy Roy. Oh, no, 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 you're not that handsome now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that got the last and now, of course, uh, speaking of handsome, every woman's dream, a fashion icon, an encyclopedia of technology, yeah. a rare combination of looks and intellect. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Rana Dugubati. Rana, great to have you with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great intro from the only celebrity that actually did say yes to come here on our budget. So, Neha Dhupia, welcome. Hit him, hit him, hit him with something heavy. Yeah. Go on, hit him. No, no, it's fine. I'm just going through a little bit of a financial crisis. All right, all right. Guys, guys enough, <laughs> enough of all of this now, enough squabbling. Let's now get to the meat of the show. Our first award category this evening is TV of the Year. And the nominees for the TV of the Year are Samsung SUHD 65JS9000 LG 55E C93OT Sony KD 79X9000B Panasonic DH 65AX800D 
VO 55X D780. I'd like to call on stage uh, the lovely Juala Gutta to please come up and uh, do the honors. Along with her, I'd also like uh, Arvind Vora and Kishore Bhargava. So Juala, we're going to leave it to you, TV of the year. So, so the, the winner, winner is... is Sony KD 79X 9000B. The Sony, Sony is the winner, very deserving Massive, this year. huge TV. At a very interesting price point, by the way. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Neha. Yeah. The next one is, of course, going to be for camera of the year. So, as a person who's always appearing on screen, mm -hmm. what do you look for in a camera? Really simple, the click button. Okay, so obviously the bad jokes continue, so <laughs> you look for the click button, I think I'm going to look for the nominees. <laughs> Absolutely. And the nominees for the camera of the year are Nikon D750 Sony Alpha 7 Mark II Sony Cybershot DSC RX 104 Canon PowerShot G3X Samsung NX500 and the winner is Sony Alpha 7R M2. Great start Mark for Sony, two in a row. Whoa. Congratulations, that's two in a row and in two separate categories. Well done, Sony. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jwala. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do an Oprah Winfrey on you right now. We're going to give away one Samsung Galaxy Note 5. That person who will actually win that will be the first person in the country to get a Note 5 in their hand. Very simple, the Oprah Winfrey part is this. Underneath the table or the chair around you are five envelopes. They're all sealed. So look under the chair, anywhere around it could be hidden anywhere, chair or table. Under the chair, somewhere there are four more envelopes. One down, four to go. We have four in, one to go. Each of them wins a Samsung Note 5. All Can four of you, please. congratulations. I'd like to invite Asim there you are. <laughs> head of Samsung Mobiles in India, to please come forward and give these Oops. phones away. are the first four Samsung Galaxy Note 5 phones in the country. That's absolutely true. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the proud owners of the first Samsung Galaxy Note 5s with any consumers in India today. Wow. And I might, and awesome. I might tell you, you might be holding the smartphone gadget of the year 2016 already <laughs> in your hands. Thank you very much. Congratulations all four of you. Thank you, Asim. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you all. All right, let's get back to the awards now. And um, it really looks as if the era of self-driving cars will fast be upon us. For the first time ever in the NDTV Gadget Guru Awards, we've got a brand new category because we believe that there's more technology in a car than maybe a room full of computers. Therefore, a new category, the techiest car of the year. Here are the nominees. And the nominees for the Tech Car of the Year are Ford Figo Aspire Volvo XC90 Audi TT BMW i8 Mercedes-Benz S-Class Give away this award Alex Chow, Country Head for Kiku and Varun Sharma Come forward please Tech Car of the Year award goes to Volvo XC90. Congratulations, Volvo. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next award category is Gadget Eye Candy of the Year. And you know, I say it every year, I'm going to say, if it, you're it, going again. To say it again. Neha Vikram. 
I need to be taken off the nominee list. It is very demeaning to be called eye candy of the year. You know, he I'm, says it I'm, every I'm, year and it's been wasn't funny the first time he said it 10 years ago. It's not funny now. I'm actually surprised the two of you didn't make it on that two list. Two of us, Matlab? Yeah, I mean, guys, look at them. Two Are they eye candy nice enough to be on the list? I mean, if I was on the jury, I'd put the two of you on the list. But <laughs> I have to put up with him. The nominees are... Yeah. And the nominees for the Eye Candy Gadget of the Year are Bang & Olufsen Bio Sound Moment Apple MacBook 12 inch Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Netgear R8000 Nighthawk Router D-Link AC3200 Ultra Wi-Fi Router and to do the honours, uh, may I please call on stage Mr. Nikhil Mathur, Head GFK India and Gopal Sate, Features Editor, NDTV Gadgets. And the winner is Apple MacBook. Yes. Well, um, I don't think, I don't think anybody from Apple is here no, to I'm actually this. being told that nobody from Apple could come. Vikram, can you take this award for the time being? Thank you, thank you. Can I now give a long speech? <laughs> Not now. No theory, I speak. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And next up is a category that speaks volumes about how far technology has come. There was a time when only the well-off could think of buying smartphones, but in the last few years, these incredible devices have become available at very affordable prices. Nominees for Budget Smartphone of the Year are... And the nominees for the Budget Smartphone of the Year are... Huawei Honor 4X. Lenovo K3 Note Motorola Moto G 2nd Generation Philips Xenium X2566 Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 U Euphoria And the people who will actually be giving away this award is of course one very familiar to all of you, the very exciting cricketer Pragyan Oja and with him Ashish Bhatia about to find out budget smartphone of the year is and the uh, award goes to Lenovo Note 3 wow Lenovo, Lenovo K3 Note congratulations very well deserved and this was a very yeah. deserving winner for this year congratulations thank again thank you and congratulations thank you thank you Pragyan Ashish